Welcome back trainers and today we're going to be doing a review of a new Go Plus. This is going to be the Dualmon. All right, so I've been working with this company for years and I am loving their products. The original one I was using here is the Dual Catchmon. Here's the original package. So basically it's a Go Plus that auto spins and catches Pokemon. Uh, with two people, but they got an upgrade and here we go. They just sent me these and I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Stay tuned for how to enter for that. So essentially it's the same thing. So here you go inside. It comes with several different stuff, things like little attachments, which we're going to get into. And here is, is itself. And it basically looks the same. It's a little, it looks weird because I got this silicone case over it. The other one came with one. I just never used it. I want to use a silicone case on this because it ju it's just so much nicer. Uh, so it basically auto spin, auto catch, and for two people, um, a lot faster in catching. I tested it out. I've been using this one here, as well as you know the uh, look. I got all the stuff. We'll, we'll go over all of the different catches, catch mons, and go pluses. But this one catches like crazy. You can connect to two people, and it has this voice automated thing here. I don't know if you can hear it really quick here. 22 Pokemon caught 19 Pokestops visited. Okay, so it tells you 200. It's, well, it tells me how many Pokemon I caught, Pokestops visited when it spins them. Um, and it's for like a 24 hour period, should be resetting soon. Love that feature. It's got rumble, it's got sound, and you can turn all of those off. But with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, give it a thumbs up. You're gonna have to for this, anyways, for the giveaway. And a lot of people are like, well, liking YouTube videos for giveaways is pointless because there's no way to know if they did. Well, I got a little way that we're going to get into here in a bit to make sure that you did do that. And it is going to be shipped to anywhere in the world. I don't care where you live. So uh, let's see what we have going on here. Let's get into it. All right. So taking a look at all of my Go Plus products here, uh, minus the original go plus because i don't know where that is i think somewhere around the house uh but we'll get into the few full review of the dual mon here in a bit and this is the actual one i'm going to be sending out all right so let's go ahead and get into this we got the pokeball plus now this is obviously not all of these products are not done by the same company these three are these pretty much this whole back is actually, except for these two here, and then this one done from the Nintendo company. So this one, if you do have it, this is a good one. It came, it came with Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu for me. It's a controller, and if you have a Pokemon in here, you can auto-spin Pokestops. It won't auto-catch Pokemon. The reason why I don't use this is because it's too bulky. Otherwise, it's amazing. It's a solid product from Nintendo. It's always a good investment when you buy their product, I guess. It's just so expensive. Uh, bulkiness is why I don't like it. If you're thinking, well, that's pretty bulky. Well, it's thin. It fits in the pocket. We'll get into that. Original one that I used auto catcher is going to be the, uh, this one here, the gotcha. This, this original gotcha was great. Loved it. Still can work if I use it. Uh, just put the band on so you can kind of memorize it a little bit better. And then you have the, uh, gotcha advanced, which I, I feel like it's the worst uh, Go Plus products ever made on the market, personally. Uh, that's just my thing. Even the thing broke right when I was like, look, here are all the parts. Just a piece of junk. You got to take this off. Look at that. Sounds like I just broke it. Yeah. Did you hear that nice crack crawl? Crack, crack, crack. Crack, snapple, pop. That's how you charge it. What a garbage product, uh, personally. I'll throw that in the garbage. All right. So let's get into this, though. Then we got these pretty fancy ones with the egg and then the lanyard and everything. It's currently off. This connects to one device and it's made by the same company as the one that we're gonna review here, Megacom. All right, comes in this case. And then we also have a rocket one here in black. Oh yeah, this is that sick, right? It's probably the cleanest looking uh, product for a Go Plus device that I do have. It's got that egg in there, it's like an incubator. Just beautiful looking product. Very pricey, but well, not very, but it's pricey, but it still works. So I got all those, got these parts from the other piece of junk, and then the one that I've been using for years. All right, solid, still good, still works. I'm not using it anymore because now I'm using this amazing product right about here. 
All right, so let's get into it. It's got an on off switch at the top and compared to this one here, uh, you can see that there is a lot of differences going on. So you got these buttons in front. These are essentially the buttons right here. So player one, player two, two people can connect. And I know connecting to these devices can be extremely annoying uh, for the first time. But with this one right here, guess what? One tap, it was done, connected, no problems, no issues, it, simple as that. The Pokemon app found it, Pokemon Go app found it, connected it, and it was done. That Just like that. And uh, we're going to get into an issue that the Androids do have about connecting devices, and it's asking you for like a second confirmation. I uh, actually talked to uh, Samsung support about it, and I got good news about that, so we'll get into that later. Other than that, connection issues, no problem. It's currently on, and if it disconnects from the actual game itself, um, these auto catchers are nice. They disconnect uh, after an hour. Every device does. That's just the way it is. It will actually talk to me and say, device disconnected, device disconnected. Here, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and uh, go into the app and then have it activated so you can hear that. So I'm recording this straight off my phone here. And this is the Bluetooth pairing re request that you do get from your Samsung Galaxies with the new update. Not recently, but several months back, and it's so annoying. This has nothing to do with the devices. It's all about Android. They've gotten feedback, and apparently they're going to change it soon, hopefully, because it's the stupidest thing, and everybody hates it. So let's go ahead and pair it up. All right. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves. We're going to go ahead and just catch this by hand. And uh, look out for that showcase soon. I got that coming soon enough. 99 CP. Ah, that's funny. I love orangutans. I love monkeys. They're intelligent. They're funny and smart. All right, so we got it connected, right? So what I wanted to do was disconnect it so you could hear the sound. And go figure, you know, I connected and it's not going for Pokemon right now. Uh, that's because I was out of the app and it's just a little bit of laggy. You already know how that goes. So there it goes. It's starting to connect to people or <laughs> to, to Pokemon. So let's go ahead and disconnect it. You can hear that? Let's see, hold on. Lost connection. There you go, lost connection. So if you're thinking, well, that's annoying, you can turn it off. Definitely turn it off. Let's go ahead and just connect it again. Uh, you can turn off that sound, and this is a fun feature that the auto catchers never really had in the past, and that is it will actually exclude new Pokemon lost that you haven't entered into your Pokedex. So there's a way to actually turn that feature on and off. It comes with clear instructions on how to do everything. And it is as simple as can be. All right, we're connected again. Looks like we're surrounded by John Hankey. We're being spied on. He's like, hold on, you're reviewing a non-official product. And then <laughs> look, at this, look at this invasion. All right, so I just wanted to show you that. Uh, there's really not much more to explain other than let's get into me catching it and uh, talk about how the performance was out on the street. All right, now, as far as priority, what does it go for first? Well, we're gonna just be strolling around my local area. I'm gonna have to say, Incense and Wild Pokemon, it seems like they're about the same. It might go for Incense first, but I don't really think so. It's definitely gonna prioritize Pokemon over Pokestops, and that's pretty much it, right? That's pretty much it. So it works great. It catches so fast, folks. I am so impressed with this product. I'm happy. I can tell the difference. Come on. I grind all the time. I already know. Absolutely worth it. So it's definitely going to go for those wild Pokemon and then Incent Pokemon 2, I guess. And then Pokestops finally last for the auto catch that it does have going on here. For and it. I show it on screen. But if you have a problem with it going for Pokemon first, or whatever. I mean, that's just the way Go Pluses work in general. There's an option in the options, so you can actually turn off Pokemon, not for the device itself, but in the actual app is where you can do that. So if that's an issue, you can go ahead and just you know, take care of that. So go ahead and take a look at this. Let's talk about the giveaway, and we're going to go over it again towards the end. So you're going to have to comment. You're going to have to like this video. And if you're thinking, well, what about liking videos? When people say like this video on YouTube to enter, how does it even actually take place? Because you don't know who liked your video, right? Right, I got it. Don't worry, I'm 10 steps ahead of you. Screenshot it. This is a very expensive product, all right? I mean, it's not like extremely expensive. It's, it's got a good price on it because it is a very amazing product. And you're essentially getting two devices in one. 
So if a screenshot's too much for you to do, then I don't know what to tell you. But for the rest of you, screenshot it. And when the time comes, you're going to have to reach out to me on Twitter. Okay. I'm going to announce the name that won on YouTube. And then I'll announce somebody who won on uh, Twitter. There's going to be two winners. One is going to win the new one and one is going to win the older device as well. So there you go. As far as Twitter, when I do make the, the tweet for the official video, you're going to like it, retweet it and comment. All three of those are going to make you eligible. Don't just retweet. You got to do all of them. All right. That's the only way you're going to be able to enter. And I will be checking to see if people did that. Okay. And also this is not going to be for people that, you know, say you, you've been blocked by me on Twitter, right? You were blocked for a reason, and I don't block people for nothing. If you try to make a new account and come in here and try to take up some prizes here, ain't going to happen. All right? I'm going to be stern on this one. See, we've reached a point where I don't need to bow down to the community anymore. And right? It's not like the community needs to bow down to me. But I've been beaten so badly that I don't care. All right? That's just the way it works. All right? I'm not trying to turn this into some negativity. People are just obsessed with that. Why are you going to be negative? It's just making a statement. I'm just saying, okay? I was beaten to a pulp, like the, the guy and old boy in the hallway, right? You know, have you, you ever seen that movie? It's just him. That was me. And I came out on top, baby. Let's go. So here we go with the Pokestops. You can see what's going on here. It is going to go for the Pokemon first. So this was the Pokestop test. This is the first time I went by them. And it clearly is going for the wild Pokemon first, which is the case for every device. So it's nothing new for me. All right. So I just want to make that 100% clear. Again, we're going to go into the options so you can see how you can deactivate Pokemon being caught if you just wanted to go for the Pokestops. If anything, you could just spin those Pokestops yourself. But it is very fast. And here is the option to do that. Simple as that. Now, to connect two devices, you wonder, well, how do you connect two? Is it like, how do they both show up on the thing? Absolutely. You saw one there, but when it's disconnected, it actually shows up with two. So say you connect to one, you, you, you can't have both people connect to one side. Somebody else is going to connect to the other side and you're going to be on your merry way. Both of you catching Pokemon and let's go. You can turn off the sound. You can turn off the vibration. You can turn off all that stuff and you're all set. So there are the details for the giveaway. Make sure you do that. Keep that screenshot because I will ask it for you to be presented in the chat when I do uh, contact you. So yeah, I love this product, folks. I'm so happy when I got this in the mail and I opened it. I was like, no way. They got a new product. Let's go, baby. So I was off testing it and I've been out here on the grind. These are all the Pokemon I caught. Absolutely amazing. Love it. It's got to be the best one because of how fast and clean it is. Let's get it. All right, one more thing. Um, it's telling me I'm out of Pokeballs. Did you hear that? Out of Pokeballs. So it does another thing. I can't believe it. I love this thing. All right, so there you have it. There's my review. Uh, it's a solid product. I'm not going to give it a, uh, a whatever, a star out of stars, uh, because it's just, if I had to rate it, I'd just give it a solid 10. <laughs> I mean, it's a good product. It does what it needs to do. And as simple as that, I know... Uh, Niantic, Pokemon Company, whatever, Nintendo is coming out with a new device soon, but it's not going to auto-catch like this is going to. It might do the stops, the spinning. It might auto-catch. I don't know. I haven't looked into the details, but all I know is why haven't they made it so we can use greater or ultra balls for these things. So definitely a good investment if you're looking for something to last you for years. And with all these nice features, it's definitely a good product. Here, let me take it out of here really quick. And I'll explain the giveaway details uh, a little bit more in depth. I know we went over it, but... So look at that. It's pretty damn clean. It takes AA batteries. Two AA's. They go right in here. And they'll last you quite some time. The battery efficiency is a lot better than the older one, too. The black one right here. And it's just like that. I personally like batteries because... If you could recharge it, that'd be cool, but whatever. I'm not, it is what it is. Batteries work, okay. So, yeah, you got your buttons here. Zero, Pokemon, hot, zero, visited. I forgot to add that into it as well. So the player two acts a female voice. Player one has a male voice, and they don't sound, they sound good. So again, we'll listen to it. All right, and it'll say that individually, and it'll go for 24 hours, and then it'll reset and tell you the count again. 
super awesome. Now, if you want to get one of these, how do you get one of these? Well, again, we already talked about it, but you're gonna have to like this video. And not only that, you're gonna have to be subscribed, comment down below, and I want you to screenshot your like for me because the only way to get in contact with me is gonna be through Twitter. I'm gonna make a post on there. You cannot double enter. Um, well, yeah, you, you can't double enter here, like, I guess, whatever, sure, go for it, double enter. If you get picked twice, I'll just pick somebody else. So you can go ahead and double enter. You're gonna have to have a Twitter account, reach out to me there, screenshot the like, and I have to see the time and the amount of likes that it did have so it's a legit thing and you didn't just go back to like it right when the giveaway was over. Yeah, uh, like the, the, the post on my Twitter as well, retweet it, comment. The more things you do, the more eligibility you will be get, get into the drawing. Now, it's not like you go on YouTube, you like that one, you comment, you go to Twitter, you like, you comment, you retweet, and every single one is another drawing, so like six different ways to enter. You're just gonna be into the, the pool two times if you do those things there. Uh, Twitter doesn't have to be a screenshot because I can see if you liked it or not. Simple as that. So there you go. Make sure you leave a comment on this video telling me what your favorite uh, auto catcher or Pokemon Go Plus or whatever it is to use for Pokemon Go. Tell me uh, where you're from or just leave a comment or whatever you got to do. Even if you say hi, that still works. No periods. I'm going to delete it. All right. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. If you don't have a Twitter account, I would say and you don't want to get involved with the Twitter idiocy, I don't blame you. Don't need to get involved. Make an account just for this. And when you're done, don't go back. And if we do another giveaway, you got that account ready on the way. Anyways, thank you for watching, trainers. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Very happy with this product. And I like to thank the company. Uh, they're not sponsoring me. They're not like if I make, you know, if, if a certain amount of people buy this or something, I'm not getting commission at all. It's not the way it goes. And I don't want it. They sent me the product to review it, and that is what it is. These people are very amazing. They're very cool people. They uh, send me gifts on holidays. So it's, you know, I got their back, and I will give a solid review. I'm not going to give a fake thing make it sound better than it is. It works great. It does what it needs to do. And the biggest thing that made me just so happy was it just automatically connecting without a bunch of nonsense right from the get-go. So there you have it, folks. There it is. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.